Hey guys, so what I'm going to do is do a live recording of me getting one of my computer applications technology classes starting a test online. I'm going to show you how I create each uh, breakout room for each student and how we then put on their cameras and their screen sharing in, a, in every single room and how I record every single room. So this is how I do sort of online invigilation while they're doing a test online. So they're all at home. I am at home. Let's see how this is going to go. So I've got eight people in my lesson, which is what I should have. So that's awesome. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create breakout rooms. I'm going to click on breakout rooms here. And I have got eight people in this class, so I'm going to choose eight rooms. I'm going to automatically assign each of you to a room. It's going to go ahead and create the rooms. So it's busy creating a room for each of you. Every single one of you are going to be put into an individual room. Uh, once I start the rooms, I will then go from one room to the next and just make sure that you are happy, that you're started, that everything's going okay. Make sure that your camera is on and your screen share, you're sc sharing the window that's on your screen, okay? Or share your whole desktop, that would be even better. I would prefer it if you share your whole desktop, okay? So I'm clicking on start rooms and then you guys will go to your rooms and I will hop in one at a time to join you guys. I clicked on start rooms and it says opening and we're waiting. I can see each person has their own room. This is great. There they go. Cool. Now every student has been put into a room. There we go. And here I am. This is me. Obviously, my camera is not working for this situation, but uh, that's because I'm using it right now. And you can see here I am here. So now I can choose to either give each room. I mean, I can right click. I can rename the room if I wanted to. If I have if I have a few students, then it's easier to rename the rooms. But if you have a lot of students, probably not. So here we go. So now I want to go ahead and just hop into each room and just see how they're doing. OK, so the one thing I forgot to do was make sure that the settings were to allow anyone to present. I forgot about that. So I really need to fix that next time. Make sure that you allow everyone to be a presenter. Let's go to the next room. Good morning, Christina. Right, Christina, you can get started. I'm going to just allow you to share your screen because apparently I forgot to do that. So there you go. That should be okay now. So share your screen, keep your camera on, and off you go, okay? I'm going to record this uh, this room, so I'm just going to start recording. There we go. And I'll just pop in every now and then just to see how you're doing. Okay, so everyone is in a room, and I can, if I just minimize this, you'll see here. I can actually see that everyone is here in a room. This is in my chat in Teams. And I can see the rooms there. This is where naming a room comes in handy. Okay, this is where naming a room comes in handy. I just sent out a message to all of them saying if they need anything, just to type out a chat uh, request. They can just say if they need help. And I can see that it's going in every single room there. I can also just go room number three. And I can just type in something, whoever's in room number three. When I'm done, I can go ahead and close all the rooms. That will bring everybody back into the main meeting if I want. Or I can just go ahead, click leave, and I can just say end meeting. So what's pretty cool, at the end of the meeting, once I'm done, all the breakout rooms have been closed and I've ended the meeting. I actually, you can also just end the meeting right away. When the breakout rooms have closed or the students have finished and they've left their individual room or their individual little meetings, then what will happen is in my OneDrive, in a folder called recordings, it will appear there as an MP4 file that you can then re-watch or just have as an archive in case you need to go over anything that happened during that session.